Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going to go over a problem from a past Sir Isaac Newton physics contest. So give it a try first, and I'll be right back with the answer. All right, so this problem, if it weren't for this movable pulley, would be a basic problem you would learn in any introductory high school physics class. But this movable pulley causes a bit of an issue. So what we have is the rope attached to this post, which is fixed, and it goes around this movable pulley because it's attached to the 60 kilogram mass. Let's call this mass one. And so mass one moves with the pulley to the right. And let's say it moves with some acceleration A. And then this rope comes over here over a fixed pulley, and we have this hanging mass, let's call this mass 2. Now its acceleration is not going to be A, so what's its acceleration going to be? Let's look at the rope. When this mass moves down, let's say, 1 meter, the rope that's pulling block 1 must also move by 1 meter. But this rope is split into two segments here and here. And so each one only moves by half a meter to sum up a total of one meter. So block one is only going to move half the distance of block two. And will therefore, since that occurs in the same time frame, will only be moving at half the speed and will only have half the acceleration. So block two, if block one has an acceleration A, block two has an acceleration 2A. Now that we know that, we can go and solve the rest of the problem. So let's look at the free body diagram for block one. Now there's no friction. All we're going to have is two values for tension. So when we apply Newton's second law to the first block, where F net, or the sum of all forces, equals the mass of block one times its acceleration. Well, the sum of all forces is just two tensions. And that's just going to equal the mass, which is 60 kilograms times that acceleration. Now for the second block, we have that tension force up. We also have gravitational force down. So we apply Newton's second law. So the sum of all forces is going to equal that second mass times its acceleration, which is twice the acceleration of our first mass. Now here, since I have down as our direction of acceleration, that'll be our positive direction, we have gravity minus tension is equal to 2 times its mass, which is 20, so 40A. All right, well, force of gravity is just mass times our gravitational field strength, and its mass is 20. So I'm going to write that as 20g minus tension is equal to 40a. Well, I can figure out what a is. I can simply write it from equation 1 that a, if I divide both sides by 60, we get tension over 30. And now I can substitute that value for acceleration into our second equation, which gives us 20g minus t is equal to 40 times tension over 30. So now I have one equation with one unknown, and that's tension. So let's collect those terms. So we have 20g. We'll move this tension to the other side. So that equals 40 over 30 is just 4 over 3t plus t which is equal to 7 over 3t. So now I'm left with, let me rewrite this over here so I have a bit of room, 20g is equal to 7 over 3t. So multiply both sides by 3, divide by 7, and we get tension as 84 newtons when we sub in g as 9.81 newtons per kilogram. So our answer is A.